Hello everybody, I'm back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 22nd, and today was a lovely day, today, temperature was gorgeous, it was super cool actually, um, could not believe how nice it was, uh, went ahead, got this morning, got a few things done, just simple things, take care of the dogs and blah blah, whatever, that kind of stuff, but went ahead and decided we were going to go up and see the um, Angel and Phelps chocolate factory up in Daytona I guess they um, have a little shop there on the intercoastal and um, you can do a little tour of the factory Karen had made it sound like it was um, a much bigger deal than what I had it turned out to be they have giant billboards that were bragging about their factory with free samples at the end and whatnot so I thought it was gonna be more than this but it's literally one hallway you walk down but on the way up there we had a great time um, we went ahead and uh, ended up hitting a couple like yard sales real quick on the way um, hit a, a, a couple of farmers markets and then um, ended up hitting a flea market also. So we just went out there and actually just took our time. It was starting to get a little bit warm by the time we got there. It happened, I think they had the thing at like 10, 11, 1, um, 2, and 3, I think is what kind of tours go through. So we got there and of course the 1 o'clock is probably going to be the uh, busiest because of the simple fact that um, it's just got the longest gap before it gets there. So, and of course the timing we left and whatnot, we're taking our time and just chilling out and hitting other like little stops in the way, enjoying ourselves. Um, we ended up getting there at like noon, so we had that weird like wait thing where we had like that long gap. Wandered around um, right there in Daytona. There's a little strip, little like little malls and little antique shops and little you know vintage shops and all kinds of stuff. I had a great time. Found a little cigar shop. I wandered in and out of there. Didn't have time to actually enjoy a cigar or nothing. Went to a place called TikTok, which has got a really bunch of old um, clocks and watches and stuff, and other antiques and other memorabilia. Has a little veterans museum up on the uh, second floor. Went up there and checked it out. Had a great time. Went and did the factory tour. Um, it was just. It was a fun little tour. It's not a long tour at all. It's just, like I said, it's one hallway. They show you the kitchen. They tell you what's going on. And at the end of it, the guy steps inside a little um, couple little doors, just like they used to. Um, the ladies who started it, they used to actually just sell the chocolate out of their house. So they went ahead and set it up kind of the same things. Had a little like flip open, like half doors. And that was just a sweet little deal. And I'm getting a couple samples. I got the... Um, Chalk covered um, potato chips, which I guess is the number one seller, and then I also got the um, the regular chocolate um, turtle. They can't call it turtles; they call it like a honeybee. So I'm not sure why they can't call it a turtle because listed on their stuff everywhere it says honeybee, same as a turtle. So I'm not really sure where that trademark licensing comes in when they're having it on their stuff anyway. So it is what it is. But anyway, went ahead, um, got that. It was good food, good chocolate. Not the cheapest chocolate in the world. It was funny. But as we were waiting in line before we took off, we were all staring at stuff, and there was a younger couple there. I'm not sure. I'm assuming their boyfriend and girlfriend, but they were in their teens. They were staring stuff, and the kid was mouthing off about how you take a $1 bag of um, chips, and you take a little bit of chocolate, and you pour it on top of it, and you sell it for $10. And I'm like, well, not quite the same thing there, because the amount of chips there, I let the kid kind of rattle on for a little bit. We were waiting for the tour to start, and it cracked me up, because then I went ahead and just kind of broke down a little bit more of the math to him. I'm like, first off, right there's more than a dollar for the chips. Second off, you're going to throw away a bunch of those chips because you have the hard ones and the double flips and stuff. You can't put them in there, the foldovers. Two, you have to buy chocolate, which you have to buy electricity. You have to pay rent here, which is $5,000 a month minimum <laughs> on the strip, bare minimum. You have to pay taxes. You have to pay employee. Um, you have to pay workers' comp. You have to pay insurance. You have to pay such and such. You have to buy the bag. You have to also, when it's right here at 10 bucks, it says buy two, get one free. So now we're not paying ten dollars a piece. We're paying, you know, basically one every, you know, twenty-five percent of that is going to be free. So we get buy two, get one free. So we have that. We also have the person who's paying there. We have electricity for the building. Have the water bill. We have OSHA inspections. We have all this stuff. We have health inspection. We have labels to make. And he'd mouth us something about I can make my own labels and stuff. I looked at the girl and I was said, "She goes, no, you can't." I said, "At least in the way you dress, you need to hire somebody to do your labels." You don't have a style for that. He got into some stuff, and I'd bust his balls on it. And kind of explain to him, life is not all about. It's you know, I got one dollar and I'm going to sell it for ten. And I'm going to make a billionaire. There's a lot of other expenses that go into this. A lot of, especially people who don't know shit about business, don't pay attention to. So, and my thought is, he doesn't complain at Walmart when you know their profit margins. But he's there complaining about Michael and Phillips. Also, then you got to pay this guy to come back here and talk to us, which we haven't spent no money yet. You have to pay for all the stuff he's given away for free to us and so on and so forth. So he went through and he kind of realized then the kid even admitted the fact that there was a lot more to this than what it was. And the guy that gave the tour, I think, overheard me kind of 
educating the, the child about the cost of business. And it was kind of funny because when we got there to the checkout thing, I ended up getting extra um, samples than Karen and I both did, which was kind of funny. So it worked out really well there. But from there, we wandered on around the shops, and then it started torrential downpouring. And normally here in Florida, it rains like hell. Half an hour at most, it's done. Sometimes 10, 15 minutes, and it's done. Not a big deal. But this rain didn't move. There was no wind. The rain was coming straight down. There was nothing. It was just, it was bad. So we wandered in and out a couple of shops, had little overhangs we'd be able to get from one shop to the next. Looked at all the different places. Spent more time in some than we normally would have because, guess what, it's raining. And we were, like, probably half a mile from the car. So... Went ahead, said he'll head back to the car. I told Karen, I said, wait here if you want. I'll get the car and come back for you. And she said, oh, we can run together. I said, oh, no, I don't run. I decided in Florida, once I actually was down here and started thinking about it, I'm not going to run in the rain unless I'm running, actually out running for exercise and for fun, then I'll run in the rain. Otherwise, my goal is just to walk because you get about as wet and you don't look like an idiot. So also, I didn't have an umbrella with me because it just out of nowhere, it started raining. So I went ahead. We walked over to the car. <laughs> it was funny because we got the, the car was unlocked. Or she's walking to run ahead. She didn't want to. We got to the car. And we we're both wet. And as I got my door open, I hit the button and locked the door on her. She's like, let me in. I'm like, you've been walking now for a long time. Like, since way back there. This last two seconds, the door's locked. You're mad. And she started laughing. She goes, well, it started to rain harder. And I said, no, it didn't. You're just lying now. And she admitted it was just her instinct of, hey, I got locked out kind of thing. It's like you're in the pool. You dive in. You're all soaking wet. You come up. Somebody splash in the face. You're like, now you're mad. But you were just literally one microsecond earlier underwater. So you can't be mad about being wet. But it is what it is. So we headed home from there. Just kind of took our time, enjoyed herself, um, looked at a few different shops. We actually stopped in at a breakfast place called Ultimate Omelette on the way up there and had a beautiful breakfast. Um, little shop, just one of my 52 places I'm eating this year. Um, worked out really well. And got back here, chilled out, um, ended up having some dinner I didn't know I was going to make. I was going to make tacos. I had some leftover beans and rice and sausage that I was going to make into a taco, and I realized we were out of tortilla shells. I forgot to grab any. So I made walking tacos instead with some Doritos in a bowl and some cabbage instead of lettuce because I hate the taste of lettuce really and had ourselves a wonderful meal chilled out um, I end up with a massive headache sometime during dinner so I ended up taking a nap trying to get the headache to go away took some ibuprofen took a nap and then got up went and ran my head was still hurting not feeling great then I just couldn't get to sleep at night I laid around it was like two something in the morning I was still awake and just brain went and shut off and couldn't get to bed so it is what it is but anyway I will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching